Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dippin' Chew Guy. It is 1 a.m. and I'm about to do another Derringer review. Hooray. Woo! Anyway, this is the number 17 review of series number 10. Series number 10 is non-premium pouches. Uh, this is the final review and it is the final Derringer product. So let's take a look at the packaging of Derringer wintergreen pouches. So you have a crap black plastic lid with no integrity, structural. You have a horrific sticker on that lid. Uh, although the canary yellow again does work slightly better with the green, um, the bullet hole decal. Was that really necessary? Did you, did you really? Yeah. Premium moist tobacco. Turn around the side banding. You have a uh, barcode and the fact that the product is pouches. We'll go this way this time. You have some more silly branding. You have a scrunched warning label with pouches. The fact that it is 100% imported tobacco. And the fact that this is a product of the CN Smokeless Tobacco Company of Grover, North Carolina. That is who is to blame for this. So then, real small right there, you have the fact that this can is 0.47 net weight ounces. 0.47. That is 0.35 net weight ounces less than Timberwolf, Longhorn, Copenhagen, Skull products, and 37.37 net weight ounces less than anything from American Snuff. I am speaking of all pouch products, obviously. So what that means is that unless you bounce the, the baby pouches around in this, um, it, it feels like the can's empty. You're like, what's going on? And you bounce those babies. Now, mind you, don't anybody actually bounce real babies. That would not be good for the child's health, number one. And two, would probably land you some serious prison time. These are baby pouches. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I'm going to cut into this. I'm really tired, by the way, if you haven't already noticed. So if this uh, review's a little goofy, could be really short, too. I don't know. Ah, fighting to get into the can. Oof. Ah, yes. There they are. The 20 little wonders. You have a medium to mellow wintergreen smell coming off the can. The pouches look bone dry. If you take one and press it up to your lip, you do get a little bit of moisture off it. For the sake of showing one more time, because I didn't do it in the last review, this is a Derringer pouch. This is a Longhorn pouch. That is why I call them baby pouches. Yeah, I know. Longhorn pouches never look so good, right? Oh, Longhorn. I long for the review we view again. So, that's what they're looking like in the can. There's 20 of them. But they're so ridiculously small, laughably small, that you have to put four of them in at a time, at least. And I take smaller pinches, so, like, that's only five dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. I'm going to hit the pause button and try to pull myself together. Then I'll be back. Probably not pulled together. And I'm back. Okay. There's very little nicotine. The winter green is not very pronounced. It's there. It's not necessarily a bad flavor. It's just not really coming across. Uh, now, the smell off the can is actually really mellow, too. It's even more mellow when it comes to flavor. Uh, there is no burn. Uh, there is a very slight twinge, tingle, zing, but there is no wintergreen burn with this. Nicotine's low. It's one of those things, I mean, if there was more flavor and some nicotine, then maybe there would be a reason for this product. But since there's very little nicotine and very little flavor, although the flavor's not bad per se, there's not nearly enough of it. And there's no nicotine. So what's the point? But you know what you know what I mean? Um there's 20 pouches in a can. Um, the can is flexible enough that it doesn't crack, which is good, but the sides bend a little bit too much. What that means is when you're trying to get the can off and apply pressure to do the twist, the walls of the can give and you can't get the lid off. So now you're fighting to get into the subpar product. Uh, the lid itself is... crap the lid is crap in fact i'm not even going to go get that right now because i don't think this product really needs a lid it's not deserving of one um so i mean if you were in a gas station and you couldn't find a normal brand and they did have this i guess you could put out the 50 or 75 cents no more than that amount and get this to hold you over till you get to the next gas station, which is hopefully within a 10 mile radius. But outside of that, I, I can't really see, I, I can't really see a point. I, you know, the flavor wise and lack of shadiness puts it, the flavor's all right enough and there's nothing shady going on with the product. It, it does put it above in my mind, Swisher products. Because the flavor's not bad in this. It's just not there, really. If it was there, it'd be pretty good, actually. But, and there's nothing shady going on. There's no weird smells. There's no under flavors going on. So, I would take this over Kayak. I'd definitely take this over Cooper. And I'd probably take this over Silver Creek, too. I, I'd take it over all Swisher products. But that's not saying much, really, at the end of the day. Saying that it's better than a Swisher product, I mean, now that I've gone through quite a number of Swisher products, I can tell you saying that something's better than a Swisher product doesn't really mean much. Okay? I, you know, rolling up this piece of paper into a little ball and putting it in my cheek would be better than a Swisher product. So, you know, it's sort of an empty alkaloid, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really tired, as I said. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you need something, and this is the only thing, better yet, if you can find another, like, 50 cents and get a Longhorn Longhorn would be preferable over this. Timberwolf would definitely be preferable. But, you know, that that's about the size of this. And I guess I'm going to need that lid for the end here. Right? Uh. So, low nicotine, all right flavor, but not much of it. Tiny, tiny pouches, little pouches. 
tiny pouches uh, that you have to put at least four in. Some guys probably need six. Um, they're pretty much dry. The can even feels light, you know. So you got five dips to get you down the road to a place that sells real dip. That is my take on this. So this has been the somewhat ridiculous review of Derringer Wintergreen Pouches. I am Suntai Dip and Chew Guy. I'd like to say hello to Michael Sosa and thank you. I guess I, I guess you're a sub. I don't remember seeing you before in the comment section. I did reply to you if you see this. Um, this is the end of the series, so I will be doing a series wrap-up tomorrow after I am rested. And then we will be doing a couple chew reviews, some nasal snuff, before we get into the next series, which is North American Market Snooze. I do hope everyone is well. Do take care of yourselves. And I forgot the shout-outs. <laughs> do check out Berg, Stip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee, 83, Real Talk Studios, No Bluff Buff, and snoosefreak.com, the channel on YouTube. Guys, again, take care of yourselves, and God bless.